During the last uh, workshop in Rotterdam, I showed you guys how to how to build um, or how to control LED with Touch Designer, and I promised to be, uh, to make a tutorial in English, as the other one was in Dutch. Um, so, okay, here he is. Um, what I have got here is the an RGB DMX controller. It's a three-channel one because I'm controlling three colors. Uh, I've got an input 12 to 24 volts, so you can also use either this 24 volt strip you can also use a 12 volt strip and um, and then my left side i've got my dmx and then my right side is my output to the strip and my input voltage so basically what this device does is he um, depends on the dmx value per channel he controls the voltage and sends that to the strip so for a less bright color it will get well it will a put through a less low or a low voltage. In order to gain this um, color channel, the full 24 volts, you'll have to need uh, you need a, v um, a DMX value of 255. So that's basically how it um, how it works. So in order to get white, you'll have to or you need to um, send through for each uh, color channel 255 value. Okay, so what I use is an Entec DMX USB Pro device. It's, uh, it's very stable, very handy, very small, and uh, it's um, supported by Touch Designer, so that's really good. And I've got a couple of cables that you'll have to buy in order to get this bunch working. So I've got a, um, as this is a, a UTP input, uh, an Ethernet cable input, I've got this cable. You can buy these online with the new um, DMX 3-pin uh, uh, connector. And keep in mind that this device has 5-pin, so you need to have a conversion cable for that. So you can buy these online. You can also make them yourself if you want. I always like to build these cables myself. Saves a little bit of money. So I'm going to hook this up like that. That one goes into my left side of my controller and this 5 pin goes into the DMX out as I would like to send it or send values to the controller. Now I'm going to hook this up in my USB port like that and then we are going to or I'm going to head off to my computer now in order to send values you need to have a DMX out and if you have the drivers installed you should see in your drop down of your device the serial of your Entech DMX USB Pro so that's good now um, to have just a value I'm going to use a constant and I'm going to send that to my DMX out and I'm going to name this first channel red the second one is green and I'm going to name the third one blue now keep in mind that um, your controller or my controller is set at DMX number address 1. So it means that red, green and blue is going to be DMX address 1, 2 and 3. If you would like to hook up a second strip and you want to control that individually, then you'll have to start from 4. So it will be 4, 5, 6. Your third strip will be 7, 8, 9 and so on. You've got 512 channels. So that is good so I've got a red green and blue on the one two and on the third channel so what happens if I increase this with one then you'll see that the red will be a little bit bright or just receives a little bit of voltage a little bit of red and in order to gain the full 24 volt voltage yeah, if you want to have a full bright then you'll have to have a value of 255 so I'm going to use a math for that 
the good old math and I'm going to multiply this value with 255 so now you see that we get a full red color and I can also control the green and I can control blue and you can also mix these colors to get either another color so in order to get full white you just increase these three channels and then you see that you got white okay so and now you can remove the constant you can use a leap motion or you, you can use a connect or an LFO or something else if you want and I find it very uh, well one of the things I really like is uh, using uh, uh, Ableton with it and in the past tutorials or you can find them online um, I'm, I'm digging into Ableton where I use this audio to OSC plugin you see that here now what it does is it converts the audio to an OSC um, data and you can use that OSC data back into touch designer again so I've got this plugin uh, fully um, um, running um, if you want to know exactly how to use these plugins or how I used it then you can just look up the other tutorials for that okay so um, let's have a look we got a, a kick and I've got a, something else here you, s you will hear the kick okay that's that and I've got something else here okay so that's uh, that's running perfectly so inside of touch I'm going to um, use uh, an, an, an OSA an OSA in and I'm going to change my network port for Ableton into 14,000 and then you will see that I've got my channels coming in so let's put these on okay that's good and um, what I would like to do is I'm going to control these or I'm going to use these channels and I'm going to plug that into my um, inside of my math so now I'm not using channel 11 only 3 and 2 so it means that only the red and the blue color will be working so um, okay well let's have a try first of all I'm going to turn on my kick and then you'll see that this is not really a good uh, way of you know um, sending values through so I'm going to round this up like that so you see that now the red color is controlled by the by the kick and what happens if I turn on my other channel in Ableton then you see that not only red is working but also got the blue color working um, yeah so this is one of the things that you can do with uh, with uh, with a LED strip and um, um, hopefully uh, this was of any use uh, feedback is welcome and um, I will make some more during the week. Okay, bye for now.